Hi there, my name's Chris from Two Tools and Nibs. And the uh, lovely people at the Turner Contemporary have asked me whilst you are all in quarantine lockdown if I wouldn't mind sharing with you some of the techniques we use to create some fantastic masks. Uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to find the biggest piece of cardboard that you have laying around. What we're looking to do is we're looking to make a piece of cardboard about this size, so about two inches wide, uh, that you can then wrap all the way around your head. Now we want this to be nice and snug, so you want to make it nice and tight there and make sure that it drops down just onto your ears because we don't want these flopping down over your eyes. And all we need to do is stick it around like so. And then the excess, this bit on here, we take our scissors and we just snip it off. Step two, we are going to need another strip of cardboard. Like this one, you place your headband back on your head, making sure it's gone right down to your ears and we are going to place, take this piece and take it from one ear, like this, all the way over the top of your head to your other ear on the other side. So I've got another strip of cardboard pre-prepared just here. And we're going to go from the back and then it's going to come over the top of the earpiece, down to the front. And then for the rabbit, we're going to make a nice long piece so uh, we're gonna hold it just there underneath my nose and then I can snip it off right there. Here we are, this is our base structure that we use to make all sorts of different masks and headpieces. Because it's really strong, you can attach lots of things to it. So I'm making a rabbit, so the first thing that I need to do is make some ears. Now remember, I said that base is really, really strong, so we can afford to make these ears really big. So I'm going to use a piece of cardboard about this big, and I'm going to draw some ear shapes on it. So that is my ear shape just there. So I'm going to use a uh, big, strong pair of scissors here. If you're using really thick card, you might need a grown-up to help you. You might even need to use a craft knife, uh, but make sure you've got a cutting mat underneath if you're going to do that. Next, we're going to draw an opening shape on the bottom of the ear. So it's going to go like this. That's the shape that we're looking for on our ear. We're going to cut that out and I'll show you why in a second. Now, the reason that we cut that opening shape in here is that we want to make our rabbit ears 3D. So by cutting this special opening shape here, we can then take the two bottom parts and if we very carefully bring them together like this and then just overlap them, you can see we've got a really nice rabbit ear in 3D and already we've made a nice base for it which we can stick to our headband. So, so just taking another piece of tape, we're going to run it along the back there and uh, stick that together. So next we're gonna talk about positioning your ears that you've made. Okay, so now we're going to place them on our mask. Once we've decided where it is we're going to put them, we're gonna tape our ears to this horizontal band going across our mask. So these are our curvy bunny ears. We're now going to move on to making the bunny face using this bit. going to use a paper plate to do this uh, just because that's what I had hanging around. So to do this I am going to use two tins. Lovely on-brand tins we've got there uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on my paper plate like so. Just going to draw around the shape of two tins and then I'm going to cut that out with a pair of scissors like this. 
Now we've got the completed structure of our animal there. It's nice and strong, it's nice and sturdy. It is ready to be decorated. And this is the point where you can let your imagination go completely wild. I'm going to show you a technique now that uses tissue paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer this up over the entire rabbit. It doesn't have to be tissue paper. You could use magazines, you could use newspaper, um, you could use any cartridge paper, anything you like. You're also going to need some PVA glue. Take the lid off and then we're going to squeeze some of the glue into a small bowl with about two tablespoons of water in there. Once we've got a watery paste that drips off the brush like that and doesn't, doesn't stay sticking, then going to take our tissue paper, I'm just gonna tear a piece off like that. Then you lay it on your rabbit, and then with the glue on the paintbrush, we just start sticking it down. And then you might decide that the middle of the ear is gonna be pink. And so just pull a pink piece off like this, lay that in the middle, and then with the brush, just start sticking it down. And then you can continue to cover the entire mask in whatever colors you want and really let your imagination run wild at this point. Once you've completely covered it in tissue paper, you then need to let it dry. See, I've added some, uh, some pink fabric on here on the ears. And then here is my completed rabbit. Uh, as you can see, I've added some pipe cleaners for whiskers here. Uh, some pink cardboard down here has made the teeth. Uh, I've got some foamy eyes up here and I've even put some glittery stickers in the ears. But you can do whatever you want with yours. Uh, but the main thing that we've learned here is how to build a really strong structure to create any sort of mask or headpiece. Here's one that we made before uh, using exactly the same techniques. We've just come a little bit further down and added a beak on here. So this is our chicken mask we've got. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you could even use it to create something oh, like this. You can pop your hand inside him and uh, he moves around like this. But the main structure, that headpiece, is exactly the same.